you can see there is quite the mess behind me because everything that was down the front of his room has been moved to the back and just sort of dumped. So that's all gonna have to be sorted. This is proof I'm being disturbed on my tea break. Eating my crisps. Yeah. Getting disturbed by mummy of four. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm gonna be honest, I can't pronounce anything from Ikea, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Hi guys, Ree here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Today I have got an Ikea delivery coming. So I know how much you guys love Ikea. I think you guys love Ikea as much as I do. Anyway, I've got a few bits and pieces coming for my teenager's room. If you saw my birthday vlog, you will have heard me explain about how we had a little bit of an incident where he's been leaning on his desk until the front of it kind of buckled and everything slid off it in an almighty crash. So rather than just kind of fixing it, we decided to have a bit of a rejig down the front of his room and sort of fix it once and for all. So we've got some bits and pieces to sort the front of that. My husband has been making a start this morning, so I'll go and take you in there and show you what he's been doing so far. And then when it all comes, I'll show you what I got. I do really want to do like a proper shop with me in Ikea. Now I don't actually need anything because obviously I can't fit big, big stuff in my car, but I just want to go and have a note. So should I film that video? Should I, you know, drive up to Ikea and just have a little look around for you guys, obviously. Not because I want to go, even though I absolutely want to go. What do you know? <laughs> what do you think anyway? Would you like to see that video? Because I don't think I filmed an Ikea shop with me since before the pandemic. That was a really long time ago. And I'm actually going on my own because I went with the whole family last time, which can be a bit challenging in Ikea, can it not? Anyway, let's go into Dylan's room, see what's going on in there so far before the delivery arrives. And I'll also show you the living room, because again, I had a bit of a switch around in there and I'll let you know what we've settled on. So as we head into Dylan's room, you can see there was quite the mess behind me because everything that was down the front of his room has been moved to the back and just sort of dumped. So that's all gonna have to be sorted. But sometimes it's nice to really move everything and have a really good sort out because it's only by pulling everything out that you are able to kind of chuck away rubbish, clean behind things, declutter things properly. The desk that collapsed was here attached to a two by two Calyx unit and it had the printer on it. So rather than wasting the space above, this is going to be a taller Calyx unit with a more secure desk attached to it. My husband is going to utilize the old desk but make a much stronger fixing to the big structure, which is actually gonna be fixed to the wall as well because the little one didn't need to be fixed to the wall because it was low down. And then over here, we've put the two by two Calyx, I say we, the royal we, my husband did it, I did not do this. Um, this is the 2x2 two two calyx which did have the desk attached to it and this was a little calyx that was just kind of plonked on the floor over there. So this has all been fixed securely to the wall. So a lot of his bits and pieces from further back in the room, because if you look further back in the room, he's got a lot of Lego on stuff on top of his bed. So whenever I try and go into the cupboard, because the very back corner of the cupboard we utilize for coat storage and then the other half is for his because he doesn't need all that wardrobe storage space so anyway whenever i go and try and like pull out winter coats and things i end up knocking his leg and like Oops. so i said look clear all that and store it on here instead and then i won't end up knocking it all so that's going to kind of be for all the stuff that's displayed currently back there and then i just want this to be sort of a better more functional workspace for him to get his work done and just with a bit more storage space. Hopefully there won't be so much kind of clutter and stuff because this area was just full of collecting bits. So coming into the lounge where Daddy Four is very noisily eating crisps. I think I do prefer it this way round with the third calyx that used to be just along here behind the door. And it is no longer a hazard because Daddy of Four has attached it to the wall so the children can't pull it on themselves, which is always good. It's really important to make sure furniture has fixed the wall. You might think, no, they couldn't pull that over. Trust me, they probably could. So I'm preferring this little corner over here. Uh, Zara was really impressed after school yesterday with this kind of extension of the sofa. I mean, it's just the buffet, which was here on the end all the time and just taking up floor space. So when, yes, I'm about to say the C word, Christmas comes, the tree can go in the corner over there 
and sort of be pushed slightly back further into the corner and not take up so much floor space. So we've got a big, rather interesting looking bag of IKEA bits. The question is, did you ever locate the, um, what's it called, the funny bracket things? Because there are brackets that you can attach the IKEA desk to the calyx with, as long as it's the tall calyx, not the short calyx. But they've discontinued them, and we had some spare. Did you find them? No. <laughs> so you've got Simple. all that IKEA no. tat, <laughs> and not the brackets that we need. All right, never mind. So you've got some inventive way of attaching it that is not the brackets that are designed for no. the actual job? No. This is proof I'm being disturbed on my tea break. Eating my crisps. Yeah. Getting disturbed by Mummy of Four. It didn't, it didn't make me the cup of tea, I had to make it myself. I was working, darling. So we're just going to wait for IKEA. I actually am probably going to eat something. I'm starving. I think I'm actually going to have leftover pizza from yesterday because pizza. I am. I think yeah. I heated up. It's really nice. Um, it was my birthday yesterday and we get to choose what we want on our birthdays. I want to take away pizza because A, I like pizza and B, it means I don't have to cook. Yee. Ikea have brought our things and Daddy of Four is assembling the big galaxy thing. So we'll leave him to that and I will pop in here and show you the other bits and pieces that I've bought. The first things I got are more Drona boxes. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. D-R-O but with a funny little, the two dots over it. Is it Drona? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm gonna be honest, I can't pronounce anything for my gear, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. So these are just like the boxes behind me. They're only three pounds each, and most of the boxes stay perfectly neat and tidy, but the ones that the children have access to, especially with bags, shoes, toys, that kind of thing, they get a bit abused, and sometimes they fall to bits and look a little bit misshapen. So when that happens, I then, unpack a nice flat one and replace it, especially if it's somewhere prominent, like in the lounge. I'm pretty sure I'm always gonna be able to get white ones, but this gray color, whether they'll discontinue that in the future or not, I don't know. So I thought it was good to have a few backups of that. The next thing I got for Dylan's desk is this funny thing. Now, what is that? I hear you ask. Now, we'll try it when we pop it on his desk. I hope you can hear me of the drilling, by the way. Um, but by all accounts, you put an iPad on there and headphones on there. So we'll just give that a go. It was two pounds and it's one of those. Um, mod, mod, lay, mod lay it. Told you, can't actually pronounce these things. Anyway, we'll try that out when we've got his desk in place. And then these boxes I got, now these are the little ones. K-U-G-G-I-S, Kugis? 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 How, how do you say that? <laughs> I really don't know. So these are the smaller kind. I like them because they're all stackable. They actually fit inside these drone boxes. So sometimes if I'm sorting things within these boxes, then the whole box is a bit big to just put things directly into. So sometimes if I'm putting together bits for videos or whatever, bits I've bought that I want to show you in videos or things for birthdays or whatever, and I want to keep them together and they're just little small bits or even craft items, they're good to kind of subdivide into these. So I got two of these smaller kind and then I got two of these larger kinds. So they've got a super thin lid and just a big kind of open space. But what I like about them is they stack like that. Isn't that cool? Now they do actually do one that is this full size that's half the depth as well, but they were out of stock of those when I ordered these. These also are a good height to slide underneath my office um, sofa thing because sometimes, again, it's just if I'm like sorting things for a video and I don't want them just all over the floor, then I pop them in just little boxes and things. I don't know if I bought things to show you in a haul or something to show in a vlog or bits for brand work, things that need photographing, whatever it might be, maybe for a blog post, then it's good to have little places to keep them all sectioned and organized. But I definitely love these for toys as well, craft supplies, that kind of thing. So, as soon as uh, my husband's finished popping the calyx together, I'm gonna try and reassemble Dylan's room. He's gonna wanna organize some of his stuff, but I just wanna kind of get it looking in some kind of shape so that it's pretty tidy for when he gets home, and then he can just do the last tweaky bits. But it does mean if he's got homework or anything to do when he gets home, he can actually get on with it because he's not had a desk to work at since the whole collapse thing incident. 
One more thing I almost forgot about. Now these aren't actually for us, but we do have these. Now these are the grey rugs and they're called Sto... Stoen... Stoens? Stoens? Stoens. Now, I didn't actually plan this, but these rugs match the colour of our hall stairs and car landing carpet and the bedroom carpet almost exactly. I ordered these rugs just thinking they do for the entrance hall, just to break up a bit of the laminate we've got. I've got one, you probably can't see it down here, and there's one in Dylan's room as well. Now these rugs are a bargain, they're only £27 each, and we got them for my mother-in-law who wanted to replace some rugs in her house. So if you are looking for rugs, it's these in they're 80 by 150 centimetres. I'd say they're a really good bargain just for sticking down. Um, to be honest, if we had carpet in the uh, downstairs hall, I think I would probably cover them with one of these. Because they're such good value, then the rug would wear out rather than the carpet. As it happens, we've got a laminate. But yeah, these are a good buy from Ikea. Let me know actually if you'd like me to do my top picks, my best buys from Ikea video, if that's something you'd be interested in because we do have a lot of Ikea stuff. And very quickly, I just want to share the prices of these boxes with lids. These little ones with a lid are three pounds each. This larger size underneath is eight pounds. And again, that's the box and the lid. These Drona boxes, which are the ones that slot into the Calyx, are three pounds each. I think they sometimes do pattern ones that are a little bit more expensive but the plain colours are just £3. And the Calyx unit, which is like the one behind me again, but is four boxes high and two boxes wide, was £45. Dylan spent a bit of time yesterday organising everything and I think it's looking pretty good. So we've got this cabinet over here, it's got some figures and things he's got on display and then all the boxes, one of which, this one I think, is his chair. Now, we've talked about a chair drawer on this channel before and a chair drawer is instead of dumping clothes that are too dirty for the wardrobe but too clean for the wash on the floor or on the chair, they go in that box. So just like a hoodie down on for an hour or something he's gonna put back on in there. So I think if you can make space in your house for a chair drawer, my husband has a chair drawer, I have a chair callus box. Honestly, it's a game changer. So this desk, this is actually the same desk that we have repurposed, but my husband has fashioned a much stronger way of attaching it. So obviously he's gained this extra four storage boxes because the desk used to be attached to this bottom one and this one used to just be down on the floor over here. All this Lego up here used to be over here and now there is enough space if I'm trying to get in and out of these wardrobes and I'm squeezing down here that I'm not knocking all the Lego off all over the place. So I think overall, pretty pleased, Dylan's pretty pleased. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on bell notifications for whenever I upload more videos. More videos are on screen right now. Click on one of those, I'll see you over there. Bye.